Welcome fellow adventurers, stay a while and listen. Today we delve deep into the mystical realm of Diablo 4, seeking answers to one of the most controversial and mysterious questions surrounding the game. I'm your host Moonfade, and we're about to uncover the truth about the fabled secret cow level in Diablo 4. Thanks for tuning in. As fans of the Diablo franchise, we all remember the legendary secret bonus levels that surprised and delighted us in the past. The Moo Moo Farm in Whimsyshire became iconic, leaving us with one burning question. Will Diablo 4 continue this tradition and have its own hidden cow level? Time and time again, the developers have denied the existence of a cow level in Diablo 4, but the secret finding community remains undeterred. They've scoured the game's teasers, interviews, and even obscure hints, fueling a growing belief that there is more to this story than that meets the eye. Driven by their insatiable curiosity, the community has banded together, meticulously piecing together every clue, deciphering cryptic messages, and sharing their findings. Their collective efforts have ignited a new quest to unlock the truth and reveal potential secrets lurking within Diablo 4. So this is what we know so far about any secret, anything, a level in Diablo 4. Uh, Wowhead dropped this article here that kind of goes over like what we have as far as information so far. And uh, right off the rip, I just want to say that uh, this is a big kind of hint here is the Oxen Shrines of uh, Kedbardu. You can find this at the capital of the Dry Steps region, but basically one of these statues is clickable and it leaves a cool little message there that kind of hints at something, uh, as you know, something kind of Easter egg-ish anyway. But it says the Oxen Gods stand as guardians to this sacred fountain. It is said that one who presents a worthy offering cleansed in these waters may gain their blessing. Pretty cool. So a lot of us are thinking like Whimsy Shire or like maybe even Cow Level, uh, but Blizzard can go in a completely different direction and do something else. Maybe we may see like Oxen this time around. So it's going to be interesting to see and check out. All right, guys, so coming down more along here, we also have some information about a zone called the Secret Cellar and some of the contents that drop in the zone. Uh, basically, these are just like strings of data that people data mined and found in the game files uh, to find. But uh, community members were able to pretty much unveil these seven promising string entries that kind of hint towards something I think we all know about. <laughs> but uh, first, we have the bloody wooden, uh, I'm sorry, bloody wooden shard, excuse me. Uh, a worn blood stained chunk of wood with tattered leather straps. The letter W has been crudely carved on one side. Now, I'm thinking a wood leg, I'm thinking W, I'm thinking blood. Uh, in my mind, as a diehard Diablo fan, I'm thinking Wurt's leg, guys. That's kind of what I'm getting at this from here. So it's not necessarily the whole leg, but I think you're going to need something, a shard of his leg uh, to maybe be one of the components to open up the portal uh, to one of the secret zones. So that's really rad. I think uh, if that is to be the case with Wirt, I think that's a pretty cool little nostalgic kind of little add to all the old fans. So that's really rad and really cool to see. So that's what we have uh, the, as the first content in, in the cellar here, the secret cellar is uh, the bloody wooden shard. Cool. And then next up, guys, it looks like we have the musty tome. Uh, it's the tattered leather binding of an old tome. Uh, the deep blue dye has faded with age and all of the pages have been torn out. So I'm looking at a blue tome, guys. That looks like a town portal to me. Uh, that clearly hints at the tome of the town portal of Diablo 2 which is another portal opening ingredient that's required to open the Easter egg location. So I think we're seeing kind of a, 
a hint at towards that with the musty tome here in Diablo 4. So don't be surprised and maybe, you know, if you have to see this as one of the items that you need uh, to maybe get in there. Like I said, all speculation, but thus far, uh, this is what people know and this is what people have data mined. So. And last but not least, guys, we have the intricate metallic fragment, which could be the last remains of the Herodric Cube. Uh, provided by Deckard Kane himself that was used to combine Wirt's leg with the Tome of the Town Portal to access the secret cow level in Diablo 2. So we're kind of seeing another hint here. This is a third one, guys. Like, it seems like it's pretty concrete that these items may be used to port us somewhere. It may not necessarily be a cow level, but maybe something of that degree of an Easter egg. So I'm not exactly sure where the secret seller is right now. No one understands that uh, if it's in the game as of right now, it may be something that's added later into the game in a patch, or it could be even added when Season 1 drops. Uh, no one really knows. Uh, this is all just kind of speculation. And there's actually a really cool Discord that's going on. And I'm going to leave a link to that Discord below about a lot of people, uh, you know, just kind of doing conspiracy theory takes on uh, if this level exists or not. And a lot of the information on there is actually really cool. It's what I sourced to actually make this video. So if you guys have the time and want to check that out, feel free to do that. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's basically the video. Um, there's some concrete kind of evidence here hinting towards a secret Easter egg zone. Um, we just don't know if it's in the data files yet to be able to be able to access it as of right now But it's looking like you know, there's definitely some stuff here and don't be surprised if you see a guy You know figure out a way to do it sometime soon. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. This is moon fade I appreciate your support and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day